Hi, James Polk here with Docupletion Forms, and I wanted to go over just real quickly how I got into studying expert systems, um, expert marketing systems, expert document systems, and expert law systems, and how I got um, into creating an efficiency tool like Docupletion Forms that is moving into being a full expert law system. Um, in 2014, I was slated to go to Lutheran Seminary at PLTS in Berkeley, part of the GTU, and I was going to put together as a diaconal minister um, a project for kids on juvenile probation. Uh, my goal was to do that. I had to get through the Masters of Divinity first, and before I went, a few months before, I decided to make a lateral move and go through paralegal training first because I felt that... Um, I could be of more use to our nation and kids in in situations where they need help from outside groups. Um, if I knew the law a little more and I knew the system a little better, I had done this project picking up um, rubbish on the roadside with a youth organization in Victorville and signing off on kids' um, juvenile probation, community service court cards. Um, Put the idea in my mind to go study the criminal law um, rather than go the the masters of divinity diaconal route um, i really wanted to uh, be a self-employed individual though and learn how to do an outsourced paralegal business and become a legal document assistant so as soon as i finished my um, criminal defense internship with the University of San Diego paralegal program attorney who they connected me with and earned my certificate of completion, I started um, studying what the technological ethical requirements were for me as a non-lawyer who had just finished paralegal training. I bought a bond. I went to the county clerk's office and I became an LDA, a legal document assistant. Um, I needed to know what I could and couldn't do, how I was supposed to deal with um, explaining to the public what it was that I could do for them, how the software worked, um, you know, just exactly how it all works. So I started reading these different cases and I came across a whole history of law cases. Um, first of which it, there was a case called Higby, uh, it was Higby and Associates. And I can't remember who the defendant was, but, um, they sued this out of state unregistered legal document assistant business and that business was also violating the unauthorized practice of law statutes. Higby and Associates operates a website called um, Record Gone and they do expungement paperwork and I was looking at doing expungement legal document assistance. I'm sorry, they don't do expungement paperwork. They do expungement um, law work as a law office. They help people file expungements and that's um, what they filed was a, a lawsuit. It was interference with prospective economic advantage based on that business being an unregistered legal document assistance business and also crossing the line with respect to unauthorized practice of law. So um, I was really aware that I needed to make sure that I wasn't inadvertently crossing some of the lines. I'm pretty sure those guys knew they were they were crossing the lines. Um, there's some other cases though that I started to come across that were people who were very well intentioned, but they ended up having to defend themselves um, in a way that I didn't want to have to defend myself. But they actually those cases actually set up the the modern landscape of what an expert law system is and what um, can be done online using software. Um, so to uphold the law, um, I came to the realization through reading all these PhD written um, law review journals from different um, law schools that um, the big, big issue was to make sure to inform the person who's giving you their information and answering different questions to inform them of the significance of their answer to your questions that you're asking them. So if you set up a logic tree, decision tree set of questions that, um, like with Docupletion Forms, the program that we've created, you can set conditional logic rules so that depending on what checkbox is, is clicked, a different next question is asked. So if you ask a question coupled with 
um, a bit of information and each answer option has a little bit of information that speaks to the significance of that answer option, then you've put the informed decision um, on the side of the person filling out your, your contact form. So um, an expert law system, which is what DocuPolution Forms is going to fully become when we're done with our second part of it, it automatically will select and then complete different legal documents based on the way the questions are answered. Currently, what you can do is when you get um, the answers back from the questionnaire that you make and you, in, you embed this little contact form on your website, you have been given the specific direction by someone with respect to what they want you to do. So if you have the right to do legal document assistance, you're either a bonded and registered legal document assistant or if you have the right to practice law as an attorney or if you are an outsourced marketing independent paralegal who connects people to attorneys you can intake the information and then you can pass it on to one or more attorneys and then the attorney directly with the client can establish an attorney client relationship and then you can work as the outsourced paralegal business that's okay so that's a good use of conditional logic um, but you have to be careful when doing that. So if you are not registered as an LDA and you're not an attorney, you're not running a paralegal business, what you have to do is ask those questions that are different based on the answers to the last questions. And then those question answers have to trigger the selection and the completion of a document and then give the document directly to the person who filled out the form. You can't yourself take the information that was left on the form and then input it into another document. That's document assistance. So as an efficiency tool, what we do with um, DocuPolution Forms is you can go to this program called Zapier. And you get a little URL from you select webhooks by Zapier and you get a little into your form as admin. and um, it's a webhook and it sends information over to Zapier and Zapier then zaps over to one of your main document programs. Um, Clio is a, a law document management program and Zipform Plus is a real estate document management program. So that's the way we've created a little system to help people be a little more efficient to get a little more direction from their clients. Most people using this stuff have some form of authorization to complete documents for somebody in some way, shape, or form, whether you're a mortgage loan officer, a tax professional, paralegal, outsourced business, or a paralegal of an attorney, an attorney themselves, a legal document assistant, a process server, an un um, unlawful detainer assistant. Um, all of these different types of professions can fill out documents with the information given to them. So I, I just realized that um, I needed to find a way to show this to people. So I decided to learn how to tell a story a little bit better. Um, I, I found a program that worked the way I needed it to out in... Um, at Chicago Kent's Law School, but you can't be a bond and registered legal document assistant and use A2J author. So they told me no and kind of take a hike. They were nice about it, but they told me to take a hike. And so I looked at hot docs. Well, hot docs cost $800 and $50 a month and then 50 cents a transaction. I just wanted something else. So I started looking at the technology uh, more deeply and it took me about five years and I decided to create a conditional logic contact form and then we integrate um, with pdf.ninja, which is the thing that allows you to upload and then complete a PDF with just a few clicks. And then we integrate with Zapier that allows you to connect with your document management program so um, it takes explanation even though I'm trying not to get into techno babble this is the type of thing that if you're a professional looking at upholding the law and also looking at doing something efficient you need to uh, maybe put your offer for what you're gonna do for people in a little sales presentation on some technical pages um, and that is something that you use an expert marketing system for along with an expert email system that then leads someone to a thank you page with your contact form or DocuPolition Forms form embeds into a program like ClickFunnels and you can integrate ClickFunnels with ActiveCampaign and you can also send people out a confirmation email from DocuPolition Forms so they'll get like two emails when they submit through maybe they'll pay you money maybe you'll do it for free but um, a little video like this embedded in a page 
talking about what you do for people. I'm just talking about the universal utility that I have for you to help you do what you do for people. Um, but you'll use the same mechanisms um, as this video talking about what I do. So hopefully that clears something up. Um, DocuPushInForms.com is the website. We have free ebooks. There's a whole bunch more information there. Maybe that makes something more obscure and you want to read more. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is that you are right now coming to this video. So hopefully it helps you figure out um, you know, some of the philosophical direction you need to go with how you use software. DocuPushInForms.com is free. There's a free members area. Inside of there we have a bunch of references out to some different software that you can use. We have a $5 upgrade and it allows you to use our organic Zapier connection as well as our form reader that connects to PDF.Ninja. Um, and we give you your own cPanel with a WordPress install on it. You have to buy a domain name, but we'll make this little calling card website for you. And you can embed a form. So thank you very much for tuning in. This has been James with DocuPolitionForms.com. Thank you.